One of the kicks that we don't talk about too often, but I use a lot in sparring, um, is the reverse lateral or standing wheel kick. Oftentimes, like if you do a Google search or you know YouTube search or whatever, uh, and you look up wheel kick, it's almost always going to be a spinning wheel kick. Almost nobody does a standing wheel kick, but it's actually standard curriculum in Savat. We don't call it a wheel kick in Savat. It's reverse lateral. Lateral meaning that the leg and the foot, your orientation is sideways. Um, and you're hitting with the heel, but the thing is it's a straight legged kick. Now we also have the reverse lateral groupe, which is the hook kick, which is a little more common. Now, why would you choose to use a straight leg version when you have the hook kick? Adding that hamstring force and closing the knee does in fact make the kick more powerful. Well, honestly what it is, is uh, it's a matter of range, right? Savat, as opposed to what we do with, with Wing Chun and catch wrestling, Savat is, and has become very much a long range art. It is very much hand and foot fencing. Um, and that being the case, it, it tends to be um, at the, the full extension of, of the limbs where possible. And uh, the reverse lateral is just such a, a, a great kick. Um, now, the cool thing is because it is, uh, because it's straight leg, right? It does require a lot of glute power. Um, so I got to get your deadlifts in. <laughs> it's really important that you get your deadlifts in or hip thrusts or, or you know, whatever kind of other exercise you want to do um, for your hip extension. But you've got to have really solid hip extension to make the reverse lateral work. Uh, it is, it's actually a, a plenty powerful kick. And of course, the spinning variant is much more powerful. And we do plenty of spinning and, and Savat as well. Uh, turning really because it's usually piggybacked off another move. We're not just arbitrarily spinning because we're not doing tricking. Um, keep in mind, right? Again, we're kind of fencing with our hands and feet. We're not boxing with our hands and feet, despite the, we call it box francais. So when we look at this, we want to make sure that we have a good line and that we have um, you know, really, really good structure to make the kick happen. And the cool thing is it works low to high. You can use this as a low kick. Um, you can use it fainting through with a sweep and then coming back and just chopping through somebody's leg with your heel. Obviously you can go to the body and of course, everybody's favorite, we can go to the head with it. Now in sparring, of course, we're not hitting with the heel in sparring. We are foot slapping with the sole of the foot. Uh, typically speaking in Savat, you're going to be wearing soft soled shoes. I tend to go barefoot because we're playing in kind of a more comprehensive MMA type game and there's no Savat competitions around. So pretty much all of our kickboxing and MMA competitions are gonna be barefoot. So you gotta train for the, the scenario. I do encourage you, if you decide to stop in and train with us, uh, you know, get some boxing shoes, some, uh, you know, some wrestling shoes, whatever. Uh, something with a nice, smooth, soft sole, nothing with, with, with a rugged sole on it. Uh, and and you'll you know you can you can use those just fine. So even with a straight leg only being glute powered, uh, because it is this big wheel of a movement, kind of in the same line as the reverse frontal or reverse crescent kick. Uh, because of that circle, you get this massive amount of angular momentum. It is a plenty powerful kick, uh, and it can be a fairly sneaky kick. People don't always see it coming. Um, and you can use it to actually keep somebody at distance and then come back down with a more normal kick. Um, there's a lot of really cool ways that you can use it. It's a pretty fun kick to play with. Uh, so give it a try and I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do all the other social media stuff. You can check out our other socials as well as take a look at some of the merchandise that we have for offer in the links below. And if you happen to be in the Phoenix metro area, stop in, come in for a class, come in just to say hi. Uh, we'd love to meet you. Until next time, good journey.